Hello and welcome Squashers and I'm Grift here and welcome to my playthrough of Evil Dead A Fistful of Boomstick. Now, I grew up with this game as well as Evil Dead Regeneration and I did a voting poll recently and I asked people what I should play through on the channel because I want to start doing playthroughs not often but sometimes and a lot of you guys want me to do this game because I have this on the list and I kind of want, I'm trying to hype up for Evil Dead because there's a new one coming out. And I do love these games. They are good games and they unfortunately don't get talked about too often nowadays. Alright, uh, that, that's enough from you. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video. So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? Yeah. All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. Don't they seem hard like to it. believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. <laughs> so I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. About 20-some-odd yeah. years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the Deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back, and then back again. And <coughs> again. But enough about again. that, let's talk some more about me. Like, for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Right, yeah. Welcome, true believers, to another chilling episode of Mysteries of the Occult. Just a I'm nerd. Trisha Pettywood, your guide into the realms of shadow and the arcane. Joining me tonight is parapsychologist and best-selling author, Professor Alex Eldridge, author of the critically acclaimed Necronomicon. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Tricia. It's Turn into a an book. To be here okay. In the very town where my late colleague, Professor Nobi, began his career. <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern <laughs> translation of this ancient text. <laughs> Excuse me. Goddamn. I'm told there's even a film in the works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two ply. Here, this one's on me. <laughs> Awful sorry about Jenny. Tonight would have been ten years, right? Oh yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Chief. Yeah. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella and straw while you're at it. Local Dearborn man that oh, wow. claims the Necronomicon has the power to raise the dead, or even travel interdimensionally through time. While it's easy to get caught up in the mythology behind the book, I'm afraid that sort of thing is just the sad, depraved ramblings of a lunatic. The real power of the Necronomicon lies not in the incantations, but in the poetry. Did you hear that? The guy called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. Oh, absolutely fascinating, Professor. We may never know what really happened in that cabin in the woods, but perhaps tonight Not the movie. <laughs> we'll finally shed some light Talk about on this woods famous movie. local mystery. There I was, face to face with the mother of all ugly. So I say, come get some, and blam, no more Mr. Nasty Face. Thanks to my investigative work into the Nobi case, I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence. Here in my hand is the last known tape of Professor Nobi, recorded the very night of his disappearance. But then it went bad. My hand, my own hand, it grabs the knife and I... In a mystery <laughs> of the occult exclusive, we're going to play the Chop tape live hand off. in studio. Huh? Oh shit. Oh, I can hardly no. wait. <clears throat> wait. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that... Chase, Trotter. Montos Nosferatus. He's 
fucking dead. Well, technically possessed. Make mine a double. Well, technically now he's dead. When you've just emptied both barrels of a shotgun into your favorite bartender, club. you can pretty much bet that happy hour is over. I went outside to see just how bad the situation was. It was bad. Past experience Damn, told me it would get a whole lot ground. worse unless someone hit the deadites where it hurt. And seeing as how the TV station was their shortcut into this world, I figured that was a pretty good place to start. But first, I had to find more weapons. <clears throat> My trusty boomstick was almost empty. Uh, get inside the TV station. Find more weapons. Okay. Man, this... This feels so weird playing this again. I've not played this in years. Like my god, like this, it feels so weird playing this again. And don't mind the the weird graphical glitches. Well, there's not very many, but you, you get what I mean. Let me look at this real quick. Girls, 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 the kitten club. I had a huge fascination of that when I was a kid because you know, when you see stuff like that, you're curious. So yeah. Damn. Kids these days, huh? What are those things? They're everywhere! It's like all hell broke loose! Yep. Oh, gee. Well, you think? Yeah. Say, you mind telling me where I can find some more ammo for the old double barrel? I'm just a rookie. They don't give us a shotgun until our second year. I'm pretty Shit. good with the sidearm, though. Stick with me and we should be okay. I hope you don't fucking oh, die. An optimist with a gun. Damn, he's a good shot with that. Oh shit, okay, he's dead. Fuck, okay. He was a good shot. Right. Ooh, boy, that one was right. Say, bub, is there another way in here? Uh, yeah. Well, the boss has the key, but he didn't show up for work yet. He's probably Maybe dead. All the guys from the day well, shift should have clocked out by now, but... There's been some freaking noises coming out of there. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to him. Uh, sorry, pal. Sounds to me like your co-workers are playing footsie with the forces of hell right about now. But I'll keep an Pretty eye sure, out for your yeah. boss, though. Put in a good word for you. I uh, find the lumberyard boss. Uh, well, why are we getting objectives this game? There we go. Now we found a save point. Awesome. Do you really wish to save? Yes, I do, actually. I do wish to save. There's a to-do list, and then there's um, S-Smart. That's pretty awesome. I forgot all about that. Ash Williams' name tag from his job is in here. I think that's pretty, it's pretty neat. I right, just that's awesome. Oh hell yeah. Give me a shovel. I need a chainsaw to get through here. Huh. I could cut through this if I had the right equipment. See? Yeah. He chains off that. Oh hell yeah, fucking beat him. Beat the fuck out of him. Tag, you're it. <laughs> fucking hit his head off. <laughs> literally do that, literally every single dead eyes. Yeah, it kills them like really quick and effectively too. Oh shit, fucking cock. Oh, badge. Got a police badge. 
Hey, nice. Oh, fucking shotgun ammo. There it is. Oh, that guy's gone. All the gates are locked. This has been updated, uh, so let's see if I can find what we're looking for. I can use that. Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So whenever I get really low, then I have a way to fix that. Okay. Oh shit! Here, Here we go. Hell yeah! Hey, nice face. Let me fix it for you. How do I use it? There we go. Did they come alive? Oh shit! They did come alive. How does he like just use the boomstick and not have to reload it? Get out of here! God, I'm getting fucked up. Cool. Okay, I had to, I had to heal. Those guys. There we go. Now I have Ash Williams, trusty Chunsaw. Hey, Captain, you boys having a little R and R? I see, huh? Dusting the girls for fingerprints, are you? Funny man. Those things in the yard have taken over the strip club, along with pretty much the whole town. No, not the strip club. As long club. as they stay in there, we hold these positions. Which means, unless you're a cop, you can just turn right around. I relax. I'm on the job. See, working vice. Deep yeah. undercover, you get me? Yeah, you got a badge to... to back that up? Does a tiger have spots? Good yeah. enough for me. I have that Go badge. Have I have that badge so I was able to get through. Um... Okay, if I slip inside here? Step aside, buddy. Orders are no one goes inside. You don't like it? Go see the captain round by the barricade. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> Does There's your no mother kiss that man. face? Give me that. Oh, you also taunt, by the way. Oh shit! Yeah. I think he does reload. Yeah. Yeah. I said before that I don't think he reloads really yeah. it. I like my mouth. I think he does. How about ah ah? Oh Jesus! Calm down, man. Say, you work in there? Uh huh. But tonight I'll make an exception. Smart move. So tell me, how does a handsome guy like me break into showbiz? You want in? Well, I got a key to the main gate, but the station is on emergency lockdown. You need the master key card to get into the station building. And where but I our get chief that? Of security has it, and he took off. Yeah? Where to? Said something about dying with a smile on his face. I figure he went to the kitten club. The nudie bar? Who'd have thought an invasion from hell would be so good for business? Here's the key to the gates. Personally, I'm out of here. Break a leg, huh? Get some titties. Okay. Well, let's get this open real quick. Hmm. The lock is jammed solid. I'd have to be superhuman to get this open. There, I'm at the... That's gonna play into something later. You're about to find out soon. Yeah, no worries. Damn, I just got the fucking... I got his off. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, is that person just walking around? Your pain, my gain. Just walking oh. around casually. Were you born that ugly? Uh, well, like, I'll be. Oh, fuck. Fucking uh, 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 naked and fucking uh, dead. Uh, fuck, fuck. Die. Fucking out of here, motherfuckers. Pick it up. God, this camera. 
haven't even used the other one. Why are they giving me one already? I'll just keep it put away until I'm ready, I guess. Ha! Motherfucker. The gates are locked. Uh, I'm about to find a key for there, so... We'll come back to that. Looking around for other shit. Shit! Die, stripper! Fuck it out of here! Why y'all trying to get at me, man? Cool. Get away from me. Uh, key to the park. Yep, the doors are locked. Well, can't get into the strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another more ammo. Whoa. Are you born that ugly? Jeez. These guys, like, these fucking dead eyes are really trying. Oh, they're crawling out of the ground. Oh, shut up. Another safe one. I haven't used the other one. Come on, man. We're fucking fucked. Damn, there's more. Oh my god. I'd like to buy a power, please. How about. Ah, 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 dynamite! I got fucking dynamite! Okay, well, I'll use that when the time comes. Oh, uh, see, I think I could use the dynamite and throw it over. I'm not 100% sure, though. That's just a guess. Let's see. Well, there you go. Figured it out. Oh, that's just beautiful. Okay, now they're coming out. I'm gonna go in there. Okay. Well, I'm a smart ass. I figured it out. I'm not trying to have a smart ass in the sense that I'm a fucking asshole for being smart, but I'm just. I know what I'm doing. I know my shit. Fuck out of here, stupid deadites. Trying to fucking bother me. I'm gonna have to fucking call these zombies, these dead eyes. There we go. Hey, nice. Jeez. What I mean by that is, yeah. I gotta light them up the train and take them all out one by one. And now, that's it. That's all they go. Uh, you found TV station cash card. You were given a book of spells. Spell cast mode. Okay, so that's... I have to do... Alright, so... I know what I, I need to do, and I will get to that here in a little bit, but... Yeah, now I can cast spells, and I know exactly where to go for this, because there's a specific place I have to go to cast this specific spell. And uh, now, since I have the book of spells, now I gotta kill the dead eyes from the green soul that they drop. Like that, that right there, I have to kill these dead eyes for them. And that's how I can cast spells, is by, you know, getting enough of those. Let's see, let's, let's go into that book of spells. Okay, so that's one of them. Is that the only book of spells I- Is that the only one I have? Cause it's just- I can't like, switch up pages or anything like that. But square square X. There's another one I need, but it doesn't look like I have it yet. 
Fatu Ampator. <clears throat> Did that not do anything? I just tried it, it did like literally fuck all. Oh wait, I found uh, an area of regress. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Here we go. Oh, that's the okay, that's the what I need. I need that. That's perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna there we go. And I'm going to save. I need that though. I really need that power. Thank God I backtracked. My Come on! Try to get my God damn it. My hands numb. God damn it. To do this, where's the spell at? Extra strength. Circle and X. Okay. Here goes sanguine. Here we go. And Areas. There is, however, a save over here that I will pick up. Now, we are about to get into the TV station, which is awesome, because I never being stuck at this part a lot as a kid, not being able to get into the TV station. Now, since I'm older, I have a better understanding of the game. Now, I can get in no problem. That's good. And the key card. Swipe that bitch. Hopefully there's some ammo though, because I'm running pretty low. I have only three shells, and I'm gonna really need more ammo. Um, it doesn't look like there's any out here. Dirty Jewess has been updated. So now I gotta save these guys. There we go. Uh, now, where is that woman and that weird guy with the white hair? I swear, I saw someone that looks like that guy in real life. I, I used to work at the, or I helped so out. So, what exactly was the plan here, Einstein? I'll go back to this. Run your hand up the thigh of the supernatural till you get your wrist slapped? I uh, do seem to have underestimated the power of the book somewhat. These oh, creatures, if we leave them alone, will they eventually go away? Oh, sure, they'll go hang out with the Easter Bunny. Listen, Brainiac, these are the mother of all pest problems, and we are the exterminators. You know any good rid the world of demons routines? I, uh, I always thought these writings were mere superstitious nonsense. Professor Nobi was the one who truly believed in the Necronomicon's power. Three cheers for Nobi. Did he leave any notes? Any egghead stuff that might tell us how to give these mothers the kiss off? He was obsessed. He wrote endlessly, but would never show me his notes. I don't know what happened to them after he died. Well, they gotta be somewhere. And if we're gonna live to see daylight, we have to find him. That we do. We need to find him. But anyway, that guy, the guy with the white hair, um, that Ash was just talking to, I used to help out with a local film festival, and there's someone that, um, he was like this really, uh... He's really big on silent films. I swear that motherfucker looked just like that guy. Like, the guy in the game. He reminds me of him a little bit. So, after I saved them from a closed casket funeral, Trish and Eldred showed their gratitude by running for cover in the church, leaving yours truly with the dirty work. 
Yep. Eldridge thought Professor Noby made some notes which could help us get out of this thing alive. He seemed to think someone at the university knows where the notes are now. Personally, I figured the cops who investigated Noby's murder might have a better idea. Okay. Um, now. Find Professor Noby's notes. Yeah, but the thing is, where is... What, what direction do I go to get there, exactly? Oh shit. The church. I think I'm about to go in there and, and save that place. Oh shit, that guy's trying to get me. Fight us. Oh, move. Move. Fuck! There's so many! Fuck! Okay, I'm out. Oh, fuck. Is there any, like, spare ammo lying around? I'm gonna need some. If I can find any. Oh, well, that'll help for later. God damn it! No! 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 Oh. oh fuck. So I think I'm gonna end it off for today. I had a lot of fun playing this though. I will be doing more of this game depending on how well this video does. Or I might just do it just because I like this game. Because this is a good game. And I want to play more of it. I'm sure I could get even farther in the, the next play. What's this? Oh, okay. Boy, hey, I got a, a bit of an upgrade before the end of the video. So, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope that you guys watch and enjoy this. Because I want to do this. Uh, more like sort of series playthroughs on the channel. And if this series does good, then I do want to do Evil Dead Regeneration. Which is probably my favorite Evil Dead game. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and definitely subscribe to become a slasher. All social media links and my merch down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching my Evil Dead a Fistful of Boomstick gameplay or play do whatever you want to call it. But yeah, next episode we'll be doing, you know, all the stuff on this level and hopefully we could get even farther than before into the game but i'm out of here and i'll see you all in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget guys to keep on slashing